Hey, welcome back, guys. So this is our second trail of the day that we hit when we were around the Beavers Bend area, Hulkatown, Oklahoma, Broken Bow, whatever you'd like to call it. This trail uh, was not on Onyx. This is one we've seen on the map, but we kind of we kind of ventured off and wanted to see where it went our, ourselves because it shows that it lead to the to the lake. Well, um, if you've seen the little thumbnail that I put up, that's a camping spot. That's where this trail will take you. You're going to have to watch most of this video if you want the GPS coordinates. I did embed them in the video, but um, I'm going to keep in mind the comments. I don't If if you want to camp here, then uh, watch my video, and it'll, it'll give you the GPS coordinates. And, and no, I'm not giving up some big secret. This, was, this can be found on Google as well. I found it on Google Earth. Um, I'm not the first one there, and as you see throughout this video, I'm not the only one that knows about it. Um, it was almost a race to get up there. Once I got about three quarters of the way, almost there, I looked at my mirror and had about three or four cars on me. Uh, and then once I did get up there, I stumbled across some more people that had, had beat me to it. They weren't camping, but they were just uh, enjoying the view. So just like the other trail that I found that is actually not too far from this one, Really, all you need is a high clearance vehicle. Uh, it does get a little steep. If it's been raining, I would definitely not try this in a two-wheel drive. Um, but if it's been good weather and the roads aren't wet and there's not a lot of mud, then I would uh, I wouldn't hesitate as long as you got a pickup truck or a little SUV, something with some clearance to dodge some rocks and a few little ruts, you'll be fine. So you'll see right here we're coming to a crossroads. Uh, you want to go straight. Like we said, we were having a hard time with the on exit. In this defense, it was our first day to use it. So we're still, we're rookies, but we did make one one wrong decision, as you'll see up here. It's not right here, but I got it marked as well. Where we should have went right, and we went straight. It, it still got us to the same place. It just looped around the backside of this uh, this mountain, which got a little sketchy. And uh, believe it or not, while we were there trying to figure out where the heck we was, because the, that, that part of the road wasn't on the map, we, we see some... Uh, wood stacked up on the side of the road and here chainsaw but did not see a vehicle didn't hear any banjos playing though so i guess we're good there as you can see this thing was just a beautiful day out there it was sunny but let me tell you it was cold it was like 19 when we started that morning i think the high only got up to 36 at 38 but we're, we just enjoyed the day out uh like we had mentioned in our, in our first uh video this is this is the first trip with this jeep wrangler that we got it's not a new jeep but it's a new to us jeep and we're really hoping to enjoy more trips like this. We're going to take it and uh, see as many landmarks and, and things as we can. So our plan is to travel around the country, shoot a little bit different style of videos, uh, mainly try to document some history and landmarks and, and things of that nature, but also utilize our Jeep to camp out of, whether we do dispersed camping or, or find a state park or, or just a paid campground. We're going to try to avoid the motel rooms unless we've got to hit one to, to get some good internet service and upload the video. But you never know. We may wind up signing up to Starlink. That way we got it with us all at all times. We're pretty new to this, so we're going to figure it out as we go. This is not going to be a full overlanding channel. I don't want to make any false pretenses, but we are going to, we're going to utilize outdoors as much as we can um, and try to go with the less, roads less traveled. I know that's pretty cliche cliche but it's the god honest truth i'm not going to hit some big touristy spot uh people are fine most of the time if you see right there to the right that, that's probably a good spot to disperse camp there wasn't a whole lot of campsites on this trail and it's kind of first come first serve as you'll see in the video um my darn near got ran over so these guys can make it so right here is where we messed up you'll see the road off to the right if you come up to this spot in the road and you're trying to find this trail Go, go to the right. If you go to the left, it'll still get you there, but the road deteriorates, gets narrow, and um, will make you question whether or not you're on the right path or not because it disappears off the, the map for some reason. It makes you show like you're just driving through the woods, which essentially be were. So as you're taking that road, if you do come up to, you'll see a little gravel pit where it looks like somebody's they used it to get some, uh, some rock and gravel out. You'll know you're on the right road just just keep following it around stay on it and it loops back into the main road uh, the gps coordinates that you're going to see here shortly in the video actually will mark that crossroad right there if you input that gps coordinates it's not to the final eagle's nest uh, campsite but it is the road once you once you get to that coordinates and you're 
and you make a right, you're there's only that's the only road to get to the lake, so you know you're good there. But guys, this is just a nice forested drive here. Um, this was the worst part of the road, I think. There was some washed out parts as we made the climb towards the Eagle's Nest campground or the first camping site. I'm, I don't know who named it Eagle's Nest, but that's what I found. But anyhow, never had any issues where I thought I'd get stuck or got, got worried on this trail. It, it was pretty tame. Um, Besides going off GPS, that, that that got us a little worrisome, but uh, we made it just fine. It really enjoyed this drive. One thing I did notice about this side of the trails compared to the, uh, the Cedar Creek trail that was on, there was not a whole lot of trash, guys. So pack it in, pack it out. If you do camp somewhere and you see some trash and you have room, go ahead and pick that up and take it with you. But right there to the right is where that little dugout where it looks like somebody got some aggregate out. Um, on the hillside I'm assuming forest department for, for these roads but uh, so if you pass that just just keep meandering around this hill uh, and like I said it loops back into the main road which will get you where you want to go and the road I think on the map is called Holly Mountain Trail is the one that we found it looked like there were several other spots that would lead you to the lake we didn't have time to go, go down those and, and check them out this would seem to be the furthest out. And to be honest, uh, let me see if I can pull it up on Onyx real quick. But it, it, it was about an hour in. I don't know exactly mileage-wise. I'll see if I can find that real quick. Um, we did make it. It looks like it was 18.5 miles in and out. So I averaged a speed of 10.2 miles an hour. Had an elevation gain of 2,255 feet. And an elevation loss of 2,264 feet. It shows that it took me one hour and 49 minutes. So it is back up in the woods, guys, um, which was great. I was really not expecting to see many people. Um, but you could see there, I, I swear I was like, huh, I bet that's the road we need to get me on. Well, stay tuned. I'm about to drop the coordinates for you guys. But the uh, road improved. Once, once it did improve, we figured out. We got back on the GPS map and it uh, on Onyx, and we were back on track on the trail that it had on the map. You'll see a little bit of a washed out area right there. That's about the biggest washed out, but like I said, high clearance, you're just fine. You don't need a need a four wheel drive. It's been raining. That might be a different story right there. I don't know that I would try to go over that if it had a had a lot of water flowing. Cause it is pretty. There's pretty good climbs on this section. I see that road to the left. We didn't go down that. That may be another dispersed camping site. I'm not real sure, but right here is the map with the GPS coordinates to the trail. Um, you'll see the crossroads that are marked, and then over, if you follow over towards the lake, you'll see the Eagle's Nest, where somebody else has already beat me to add a picture on uh, Google Earth. But it is a pretty scenic view there, whether you go there to camp or not, like we did. We just drove up there and uh, just really enjoyed the drive. So guys, I'm going to just let this video play for a little bit and I'll get back with you once we get a little closer. I did cut down the footage quite a bit. Like I said, it took an hour and 49 minutes out and back, but I didn't want to show the whole drive. Um, there wasn't any real serious areas as far as uh, washout, ruts, things of that nature. This is a pretty good climb. I think we stopped to kind of question to see how much further we had because it was about 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we didn't want it to get dark on us. But anyhow, guys, enjoy the video.
is about right here where I really noticed that I had about, I think it was three cars coming up on me pretty quick and uh, as you'll see as these guys as I pull over and let them pass they stopped and asked if we were going to be camping because they were headed down to the dead end which I did not follow them all the way down the hill but uh, you'll see as they come by I really like this first rig it was older I think Bronco 2 you could tell it was built these are these were purpose-built vehicles i think they're, they're probably some real deal overlanders uh, i wouldn't be surprised if they have their own youtube channel i'm sitting there talking with these guys right now i didn't add the audio to that they're, you're fixing to see them pass me there goes the bronco and then we've got a what's that toyota 4runner maybe or land cruiser I'm not real sure and then i think that was a chevrolet or gmc canyon followed by another toyota so I guess there was four of them, and uh, they were they were putting some miles down. They they weren't enjoying the view. They were on a mission. They were they were hauling butt. So I wanted to get out of their way. Like I said I was just going up here to to see the view and, and mark the location for a future camping trip. I I wasn't going to camp out tonight. We stayed in the motel to the chimp that night. I think got down to sixteen. And, and while I enjoy camping, I don't enjoy the cold. So. Kind of like my motorcycle. I'm a fair weather rider when it comes to that, so I'm gonna be a fair weather camper as well. Uh, occasional rainstorm here and there. Well, we'll weather the storm if we got to. But now we're making the approach to the, the eagle's nest, and as you see, we're pulling up on a couple of people. There's some people up there in a UTV and a little pickup, and they're just. I've got a little campfire going there. They're drinking a few adult beverages and having a good time playing some music. You can see the road keeps going, and it goes down to a campsite down there, but that's where them four guys went. So I didn't want to intrude on them while they were trying to get set up for camp and figure out where they're going to park and just get in their way. So I talked to these fine people right here and asked them if I could take in the view with them, and of course they obliged, and uh, they were having a great time. Now as we was pulling up, they seen the name on the Jeep. We, we've got Jolene on the Jeep uh, for my wife. Um, it's actually her middle name. Her grandmother named her that, or suggested that I guess for her parents, and they really like it, and it makes her think of her grandmother. But it was it was a good time. They they started playing the Jolene by Dolly Parton, and then I think Miley Cyrus too. Uh, one of the guys was giving the other one a hard time about playing Miley Cyrus. It was, it was pretty funny. But I really hope this video is doing it justice, guys. This is would be a great camping spot if you get it all to yourself. There I am getting out of the jeep, and there's my wife. Uh, we're going to enjoy the view and take a few pictures. But, uh, but yeah, guys, if you do wind up camping it at the spot, just remember to pack your stuff in and pack it out. Don't don't create a mess for the next person. Make sure you put out fires if you're out there during the summertime because you are in the middle of the forest. And uh, just enjoy nature. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, I'm going to try to post a few more. But like I said, I'm not sure completely sure what direction i'm going to take this channel in it's not going to be strictly overlanding for sure but we're going to mix some camping and overlanding in with our with our adventures as time allows okay well thank you guys for watching and uh enjoy this if you do wind up going there post some pictures make some comments if you've been let me know maybe i missed some things along the way thanks for watching